This is Daylight Magazine coming to you from Adventist World Radio Ghana, the voice of hope. Today's Daylight Magazine has segments designed with you in mind. Stay tuned and be blessed. Knows what I'm going through. Jesus knows what I need to do. Jesus is there when I ask him to. Jesus will carry me through. I know Jesus knows. knows what I'm going through. I know that my Jesus, Jesus knows what I my, need my, to my, do. My, 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 Jesus, Jesus is there when I ask him I to. I know that Jesus will carry me through. Well, well. Jesus knows what I'm going through. I know my Jesus knows what I'm going through. Yes, I know my Jesus. He's there when I ask him. I know that my Jesus will carry me through. Listen now. When I was a child, I was afraid of the dark. Today I'm scared of things I can see well. But if I just keep walking on down that road, I know that Jesus walks in front of me. Well, well, now Jesus knows what I'm going through. Jesus knows what I need to do. Jesus is there and I ask him to. Jesus will carry me through. When I get discouraged and I lose my way And I'm blinded by the wrong that I do If I trust in Jesus, he will show me the way He will always carry me through I know that Jesus knows what I'm going through Jesus knows what I need well Jesus is there when I ask him to Jesus will carry me through. I know that Jesus knows what I'm going to do. Yes, Jesus knows what I need to do. Jesus is there and I ask Jesus will carry me through. I know that my Jesus, he cares for you. My Jesus, he cares for you. For our reflections, we shall look at Leviticus 13, verse 50 to 59. The priest is to examine the affected area and isolate the article for seven days. On the seventh day, he is to examine it, and if the mold has spread in the fabric, the woven or knitted material, or the leather, whatever its use, it is a persistent defiling mold. The article is unclean. He must burn the fabric, the woven or knitted material of wool or linen, or any leather article that has been spoiled, because the defiling mold is persistent. The article must be burned. But if when the priest examines it, the mold has not spread in the fabric, the woven or knitted material, or the leather article, he shall order that the spoiled article be washed. Then he is to isolate it for another seven days. After the article has been washed, the priest is to examine it again. And if the mold has not changed its appearance, even though it has not spread, it is unclean. Burn it, no matter which side of the fabric has been spoiled. If when the priest examines it, the mold has faded after the article has been washed, he is to tear the spoiled part out of the fabric, the leather, or the woven or knitted material. But if it reappears in the fabric, in the woven or knitted material, or in the leather article, it is a spreading mold. Whatever has the mold must be burned. Any fabric, woven or knitted material, or any leather article that has been washed and is rid of the mold must be washed again. Then it will be clean. These are the regulations concerning defiling molds in woolen or linen clothing, 
woven or knitted material, or any leather article for pronouncing them clean or unclean. You just listened to the audio version of Leviticus 13, verse 50 to 59. What do you choose? Eternal damnation in hellfire, or eternal life in a golden city. Hell was not made for any man but the devil. Dear listener, don't allow him to deceive you to sin to join him in hell. Accept Jesus Christ today as your personal Savior. Get baptized into a true Bible-believing church. And live daily for the Lord with the help of the Holy Spirit. Your eternal life will be guaranteed. God bless you. Hello, you welcome back to A Healthy You. Today we are going to look at two diseases, and they are cholera and the famous Ebola. And we are privileged to have in our studio the officers from Kung Katamansu District Health Directorate. We have three of them here, and they will mention their names. I'm Bright Ose, a disease control officer from Kung Katamansu District Health Directorate. Okay. I'm Gladys Asante, clinical nurse, Boom Baalishi Health Center. I'm Vivian Jojoji, community health nurse, Boom Baalishi Health Center. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm going to be your moderator, and my name is Belle Dollar Bill. First of all, let us look at cholera. What is cholera, Auntie Vivian? Cholera is a disease caused by a germ called cholera vibro, and it is very infectious. Okay. And right, right. You have something to add to that? Yeah. As she said, cholera is caused by a bacteria called Vibro cholerae, And the germ normally lives in either water or food, contaminated water or food. What's the mode of transmission? How, how do you get it? Madam Gladys. It is being transferred through the flies when they settled on feces okay. and then the flies come to settle on your food okay. or any other thing like anything we come in contact with okay. mm-hmm. so by taking the food without knowing that the f- fly has settled on it you take it and the germ enters you and then you start having the sickness Okay. So uh, you're saying the only way one can uh, contract that disease is when flies settle on feces and transfer the uh, end up settling on the person's food, food and the person eats it. Yeah. So I guess it's not communicable. If if one has it and is staying with someone, there's no way the person close to him or her can get it. Can get it. The person close to him can get it. How? You can get it by the way you handle that person. Okay. It is uh, contracted through, we say, Fico aura, oh. when the feces, let me use it that way, okay. in the raw language, when the feces of the infected person mm-hmm. gets into contact with the uninfected person and the person mm-hmm. 
injects it into the body. Okay. When you eat it, when your food is contaminated with the feces or mm-hmm. your water is contaminated with the feces, okay. you can get it. Okay. <laughs> Meaning that if uh, probably someone goes to the loo and doesn't wash their hand properly and touches a mug and you also use it, yes. it's possible you can you can get it. Yes. Okay. Um, what are some of the signs and, and symptoms? Bright. Yeah. The signs and symptoms for the cholera is profuse passing out of watery stool, then vomiting for more than three times, then passing out the, the stool for more than three times, then the person becomes weak. Then we suspect that the person might be having the cholera disease. Okay. So. You have anything to add, Madam yeah. Vivian? The, the stool is sometimes characterized um, like rice water stew because hmm. it becomes so loose. Please don't use rice water because some of us <laughs> love rice water. <laughs> There's no substance and it is so watery okay. and it looks like rice water. That is why we say it is a rice water stew okay. and you vomit as Bright has just said. Okay. And also because the fluid in you is being passed away through the stew and the vomitus, you become so dehydrated mm-hmm. and you have sunken eyes. Okay. <laughs> and your When you say sunken eyes, what, what you, you know that will your eyes enter your yeah. no you see that the body is so dehydrated and dry that mm-hmm. the your eyes gets back you see that it's so deep okay uh-huh. your eyes have gotten inside okay. more than your normal type of eyes okay uh-huh. okay and also the skin mm-hmm. it loses its elasticity okay. by that I mean you know our normal muzzle tone is firm mm-hmm. but when you become so dehydrated you touch the skin and it's all wrinkled. Mm-hmm. You touch it and raise the skin. It goes back slowly. It doesn't go back as normal. As fast as, as it should. Yes, as it should. Oh, okay. When one gets it, what should he or she do? Madam Gladys. When one gets it, there are so many things he has to do. We should have something like ORS mm-hmm. near us so that... If what is ORS? Uh, oral dehydration solution. You know, okay. we have one, some small sachet of, like, salt solution okay. in sachet, you know. Okay. So we dissolve it in water. Okay. Mostly when you go to the hospitals, when you are dehydrated or when you have frequent tools, we used to give you those types of drugs. It's like a sachet of salt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we, we show you how to do it. You dissolve it in water. Let's say system else of sterile water, not any other water. Water which is sterile, which is safe for drinking. Okay. And then you take it. And sterile water. And mm. if I fetch water from my tap, okay. it, if, I may think it's safe. Is it safe? If, you know, nowadays we don't have anything safe. Mm-hmm. So you can boil it okay. and then let it uh, cool. Okay. You measure it, let's say, like 60 mils and you dissolve it 60 mils um, we are not very good at um, measuring so can you use something to something that can okay. come close to 60 Six, mils 600 mils 600 um, mils like no, is it like no, p- uh, pure water sachet uh, oh. uh, this ever pure water uh-huh. you know we have a bottle measured 600 mils mm-hmm. you can dissolve it in it Okay, if if one doesn't have access to mm-hmm. ever pure water, and probably the person can easily get uh, pure pure water the sachets, sachet. mm-hmm. that one is uh, uh, bright. Can you can you help us? Normally, what we ad- advise the public is that um, we all know Coca Cola. Mm-hmm. We normally take Coca Cola. Mm-hmm. The Coca Cola bottle. I don't take Coca Cola. <laughs> Most of us. Okay. <laughs> Fanta. Or oh, Fanta. Okay. Yeah. Or beer the bottle. B- no. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll stay with Coke. <laughs> so, the bottle measures the 600 mils. Okay. As we are, 600 mils. So, you take that bottle, let it be clean. Okay. Then, you use it with the... Um, the ORS, you mix it with the ORS. So you're, s- you're saying that either a Fanta, an empty Fanta bottle or Coca-Cola, sure. bottle will sure. give you the measurement you are talking sure. about. One, sure. one is 300, uh-huh. so two will be 600. Okay. So okay. you measure it, two bottles of Coke or 
um, Fanta. Fanta. Okay. You fill it with water, clean water. Dear listener, when he says two bottles of, of Coke or Fanta, it doesn't mean you should actually get two bottles of Coke or Fanta. He means an empty bottle of Coke or Fanta filled with clean, clean water. water. Sure. Okay. Then you you mix the you mix the ORS with it. Then the person seeks it. As he goes to the hospital, the close at the nearest hospital. Okay, okay. So. You've talked about ORS and the fact that you can get at the hospital. What if um, the person is not close to the hospital and probably needs a form of first aid? What do you advise, Auntie Vivian? If you are not close to a hospital, you need to get some fluids, homemade fluids, we call them. Okay. Um, you can go to a kinky seller mm-hmm. who prepares kinky, the water of the boiled kinky. Which is the guns will say Okay. You can use you can take that one and be sipping while you go to the hospital. Okay. Or you can get coconuts. Okay. And use the coconut water. You'll be drinking while you go okay. to the hospital. What about pepper soup? It's also fluid. Pepper <laughs> soup is fluid. <laughs> but someone having diarrhea mm-hmm. and going to take pepper soup, mm-hmm. the bowels will still be irritated. Okay. And the person will pass the stool more. Okay. So we don't advise on that. It will irritate the bowels the more. Okay. So you okay. can take those fluids. Because it contains sugar and salt, mm-hmm. it will give you some sort of energy while you travel to the health facility. Okay, okay. In case you tuned in just now, this is A Healthy You. We've been talking about cholera. But before we leave, I want you to remember this, that cleanliness is next to godliness. God wants us to be healthy. And for us to be healthy, we must draw close to him. And for us to draw close to him, we must be clean. We'll be right back. Any inquiries or contribution, you can contact us on plus two three three two four four six seven three five two eight or zero two four four two three five zero one seven or email us at radio at vvu.edu.gh or through the postal address Adventist World Radio Ghana PO Box AF five nine five Adenta Greater Accra Region Ghana. We've got to go into all of the world. We can't be happy until everyone's heard. We've got a message that everyone needs to share. Take everybody Welcome to the program, Moment of Truth. My name is Ebenezer Osei Newman Saki. The title for today's sermon is We Are Family. Shall we have a word of prayer? Gracious Lord, you have called us into the family of Christ. Please help us understand that there is no division, separation among us today. And let us live in unity to your word. In Jesus' name have we prayed. Amen. A time came that Jesus was speaking with a group of people. And as he was speaking, some people reported to him that his brothers and mother is out there looking for him. And this account can be found in the book of Mark chapter 3, verse 32 to 30. And as it is written, 
Then his brothers and his mother came, and standing outside, they said to him, calling him. And a multitude was sitting around him, and they said to him, Look, your mother and your brothers are outside seeking you. But he answered them, saying, Who is my mother and my brothers? And he looked around in a circle at those who sat about him, and said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whosoever does the will of God is my brother and my sister and my mother. Jesus is making a serious statement here. That whosoever does the will of God, that person becomes a brother and a sister, a mother to Jesus. We are being called here to do the will of God. Jesus said, I came not to do my own will, but the will of the Father which is in heaven. Therefore, if any of us do what God wants us to do, Jesus is giving us that opportunity, that privilege, that authority to be brothers and sisters together with him. And he tells us that yes, because of this, in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 31, therefore whatsoever you do, whatsoever you eat, whatsoever you drink, whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God. Do all to the glory of God. God wants our eating, our drinking, everything that we do, even to be in accordance to his will. Even to be in accordance with his will. God wants us to do his will so that he can identify with us, so that he can call us brothers and sisters. So John exclaimed and said, Behold, what manner of love Father has given unto us, that we should be called his children, sons and daughters of God. We have been given this privilege freely by obeying and doing the will of the Father who is in heaven. The book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 17 tells us that, And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus and giving thanks to the Father through him. God wants us to do things according to his will. God wants us to do things according to his will. So the book of James asks us a question. If we are family, if we are family, by doing the will of God, the book of James chapter 4 verse 1 to 3 asks us, Therefore where do wars and fight come from among you? Where is this struggle, this strife coming from? Do they not come from your desire for pleasure that war in your members? The flesh to satisfy is making us fight war among us. Where do this war come from? You all lust and do not have. You murder, you covet, and cannot obtain. You fight and war, yet you do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask amish. You ask for the wrong purpose. Christians, God is calling us to work in his will, to think in his will, to act in his will. He wants us to do according to his will. We are family. We are family. This strife, backbiting, and all manner of evil that works in us against one another, God doesn't want it to be so. God doesn't want us to be fighting among ourselves, to be backbiting, pulling each other down. You are in the house of God. You are in the house of God. And yet you have something against your brother that you have purpose never to let go. Is that the will of God? You are in the house of God. And you are still practicing evil deeds, practicing witchcraft. Is that the will of God? You are in the house of God. If you want to be a part of the family of God, Jesus is telling us that they that do the will of God, the will of my Father in heaven, they are part of me. They are my brothers and sisters. They are my mother. They are those who are truly mine. It's not by professing to be a Christian that makes you one. It's by your deed and your words, your actions, your daily life, living according to the will of God that makes you part of the family of God. Brothers and sisters, listening the word of God is calling us that we have to be true family members. 
by doing the will of God. Let's stop the gossip. Let's stop the envy. Let's stop the backbiting. God wants us to act according to his will. We are family. I want you to know that to truly, truly, we are family if we do the will of God. Jesus looked around. He looked around those surrounding him and said to them, those who do the will of my Father in heaven, they are my brothers and sisters. It is my prayer that today, today, from today, you will purpose in your heart only to do the will of God, the will of our Father in heaven, so that you and I can be a brother, can be a sister, can be a mother to our Lord and Master Savior. May his name be praised for blessing us with this insight. In the name of our Lord and Master Jesus Christ, shall we have a word of prayer. Jesus, we thank you for giving us this privilege to be family members with you. Who are we? Oh, who are we? Unworthy though we are, you have given us the privilege to do the will of your Father in heaven to be family members with you. Please bless us with the ability to go in accordance with your will so that you will come and receive us to your side as brothers and sisters in the name of God have we prayed. Amen. Thank you very much for staying with us. Once again, you can reach us on plus 233-244-673528 or 244 or email us at radio at vvu.edu.gh or through the postal address Adventist World Radio Ghana PO Box AF595. Adenta Greater Accra Region. I believe today's magazine has been a blessing. May the good Lord's hand be in your life. Amen. Remember to tune in same time tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>